First tonight, 911 dispatchers answer hundreds of calls each and every day, but investigators say one woman from Kanawha County is responsible for dialing 911 600 times within the last month. And she's accused of reporting emergencies that weren't happening, sending emergency crews to these incidents that didn't even exist because they have to. As News Channel 3's Jatera McGee explains, a stop to the calls means you and your family are a little more safe tonight, even if you didn't know your safety was in jeopardy. You say you're on the west side of Charleston? Matt Blaylock is a dispatcher at Metro 911. On a busy day, he and his team can answer more than 800 calls. If your neighbor's home catches on fire, your child has a serious allergic reaction, or a family member is in a car accident, okay, they're in the parking lot. he sends help their way. But for the last month, Metro 911 has answered 600 calls for emergencies that didn't happen. From burglaries to fires and even shootings and stabbings. Your grandfather's having a heart attack. And you have to wait extra two or three rings because we have one of our call takers trying to take care of a false 911 call. Investigators say 28-year-old Cassandra Fridley is the one on the other line. It causes frustration at our end because we still have to treat all these calls, even the false one. We still have to treat that as a serious call for service. Investigators say the woman called in these emergencies from different phones, on different phone numbers, and to different addresses. And if the dispatcher on the other line recognized her, well, she'd hang up on them. That can mean that services get delayed for somebody with a legitimate emergency. 626 days. That breaks down to 23 times every day or almost once an hour. For example, a shooting call in the middle of the night on September 29th that sent police and medics flying to the scene. But even if dispatchers suspect a call is fake. And we can have, you know, the boy who cried wolf call in 50 times a day. But that 51st time, their house might actually be on fire. We can't take that chance. And as Fridley waits for her day in court, she'll do so in a place where phone calls are limited and monitored. Jatera McGee, WSAZ News Channel 3, Kanawha County. Fridley is charged with falsely reporting an emergency. It's only a misdemeanor with a maximum penalty of half a year in jail and a fine. State police say that penalty could be increased during the court process. We'll let you know what happened.